Jesus Christ. It just, it takes just an eternity to set up. I'm like sweating, bro. Check one, two. A ver, dale. Check one, two. Oh, that's pretty, that's clear. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, you want some cologne so you can smoke it in the video? <laughs> Guys, let us know if uh, you like the way Sebas smells. It's bergamote. Bergamote. Yeah, look at it. Bergamote. Guys, bergamote. Oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> okay. It's from um, Nordstrom's. Okay. A ver, a ver. Aquí estamos. Well, it's rico. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's bomb. Like it. Yeah. Come on, man. You think? Look, at Sebastian has candy over here. Come on, man. We're professional podcasters, bro. Professional podcasters. Anyways, mic check. Mic check. You ready, bro? I'm ready. Take a sip of that cafe. <coughs> There's an Xbox control on the camera. One. Camera one. Check. Camera two. Check. Camera three. Camera three. Check. Check. <clears throat> Star Trek. Okay, cool. Let's go. Vamos. Welcome, everybody. As you already know, I have my special guest, the one that was in my podcast the first time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the person that you never knew you needed in your life, the one and only, the supreme, supreme, the masculinity of this human being is just <laughs> in, in amazing. Sebastian, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show again. Bro, so I love having you on the show. Thanks. Not bro. only that, I've already told you our camaraderie is just You know what I mean? Like it's just we're just we're just those guys. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, bro. And you know what? I hit up Sebastian this morning and I was like, Hey dude, like, can you please come over tonight? Like, I have a lot of things to do during the day, but can you please come over tonight? And the first thing he said is, of course. Well, initially, we were supposed to have this uh, tomorrow. Yeah, but isn't it? I mean, tonight's kind of better. Let's it, get it out the way. And by tomorrow, true, it's already out in the public, bro. Well, Let's go. Let me just say that I had movie plans with Chloe. Why do you have to say that? I'm just letting you know, bro. You just had to, huh? I had to. What movie are you going to go watch? We're going to go watch Knives Out. I never heard it, so... Really? Mm -mm. Uh, a lot of good actors are in it. Really? Yeah, check it out. I don't know what it's about. About I like want to see the one with Adam Sandler. What's that? The one that he's like he like gambles or something. You didn't? You haven't heard about that? One? No. Okay, never mind. You mumble that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, bienvenidos a otro otro episodio de la plática. La plática. Guys, so much amazing things has ha have happened ever since we did three episodes. I mean, I had you. I had my boy Josh Label come through. I had my boy Suave. And now it's back to you. I feel like it's a vicious cycle right now. Vicious. And I love it. So many good things. So many good things that I want to tell the audience right now. Guys, my people, mi familia, thank you guys so much for the support. I absolutely love it. Um, even when we did the first episode with me and you. Yeah. I had fun. so much positive feedback, bro. Um, I checked my analytics on that one, and I think it's the most viewed video. Really? I mean, yeah, it's the first one, so yeah, kind of, yeah. you know, but... A lot of hype, but still, still, bro, still. still. yeah, like, it's 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 so good. Uh, super blessed for all your guys' support. Yeah. And, you know, just got to keep it up. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, what's the hardest thing about having a podcast? And I said, you know what? When I have my podcast and I bought my stuff, none of that stuff was hard to do. Me inviting people is not hard to do. Oh, yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Me, you know, coming up with topics is not hard to do. You know what's hard to do is being consistent, bro. Oh, yeah. Being consistent and really telling yourself, hey, treat it like a nine to five. Mm -hmm. Wake up, you know, schedule people to come to your house, um, schedule talks, have topics, um, really making it be what it, I want it to be. That's what's hard. Yeah. But you know what? So far, so good. Um, I think right now the topics and the people that have been over are super amazing and I'm absolutely loving. Everybody loves it and it makes me so happy, but this is only the beginning. Who knows where this can take us? Amen. 
you just have to continue uh, pushing those videos out and doing exactly. That. Yeah, and being don't, being consistent. Yeah, don't slack. I can't. I can't slack, bro. Don't slack. I can't slack. For those who are just following me, um, this YouTube channel, or if you're listening to it on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, once again, I am on Al Apple Podcasts, and I we are on Spotify. Mm -hmm. La Platica is on Spotify. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Applausos. I don't have applausos. I took that one off. Yeah, sorry about that. But we have this one. Wait, wait, okay. So we are on Spotify. So make sure you check me out on Spotify. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Sebastian on Instagram. Um, not me, Sebastian. My co-host for the night. My name is Sebastian too. In case you guys exactly. <laughs> um, and like I said, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We up in this bitch. And once again, thank you so much. Sebastian, how is your day? I know that I, you didn't have your date because of me, but you had a mandate with me. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. I, I, uh, we, we postponed it till tomorrow, so it's going to be all right. Nice. Yeah. Um, I know that you and Chloe lived in Australia recently. Yeah. You guys just moved up yeah. to LA mm -hmm. and we talked about it in the first episode, but none of those fires were happening. None of the fires were um, happening and now they're you, you know what it's, raging. It's so amazing to see your girl be so consistent and spread awareness. I know she's yeah, Australian, yeah. but I bet you anything, even if it wasn't Australia being affected, yeah. I think she would still be very, very like, that's amazing she's, that she's like that. She's very like that. She's uh, she takes everything, even if it's happening to somebody else, very personal. So I, uh, she's she's an amazing woman. Um, I learn a lot from her, to be honest. Like, yeah, I, I mean, have compassion and and try to put myself in other people's shoes. I, I never really used definitely, to be like that. man. I mean, but. I see her stories, and she's just so active on there, spreading. <laughs> awareness from all these kind of like yeah. charities and where to donate um even letting people know what's going on oh yeah like yeah. honestly 80 percent of the shit that i did i know about mm -hmm. the wildfires oh you know because of her of, of course yeah she's been she's been spreading a lot of and if and, and if i mean <clears throat> if i say that i can't imagine everybody else saying that as well yeah um so you know chloe i applaud you you're you're a beautiful person no wonder you're so in love with her. Oh, dude, yeah. And um, thank you for that, Chloe. Seriously, we need more people like you in this world. And um, just nice. really, <laughs> really, <laughs> really quick, um, you're able to actually um, link like a donation type of thing to your Instagram, correct? Yeah, so she's actually um, raised some money through GoFundMe. Yeah. Um, to give back to the community, her community. Mm -hmm. Like the community of Bateman's Bay, mm -hmm. because that's where she grew up. So uh, you can donate to that GoFundMe, or you can just donate to RFS, which is like the um, uh, the firefighters of Australia. Oh, sick! The Red Cross. Yeah, there's a bunch more that I don't even know. Yeah, but uh, the I, you were wildlife. telling me that she don't she, uh, she was able to uh, come up with some sort um, yeah quite a bit of money, right? Yeah, she was able to raise uh, thirty two thousand so far. Oh my god! And like. I don't know, but like less than a week. And this is, is just crazy. her. This is just her being active that's and just, just telling people. Active, yeah. Wow. So that's thank, thank you uh, to everybody. Yeah. Um. That's, I think the amazing. daughter of Steve Irwin and the mother, um, of the daughter, which obviously is the wife, um, they have an organization as well. Yeah. Steve. And, yeah. and then you can link it through your Instagram, and then if you link it through your Instagram or something like that, like your IG story, people could actually go on it. And actually yeah. donate it directly from Instagram. Oh, wow. And yeah, it's amazing because I don't know anybody else, but uh, Karen was able to do that. And yeah, I think she raised like, almost $10,000. $10,000. Wow. I mean, so that it's amazing. I think it's for the wildlife, for yeah, like no, the animals and stuff. It's really important. Like 500 million uh, animals have like perished or have been affected. I'm not going to say perish, but, but have been affected. That yeah. doesn't necessarily mean die, but like, you know, breathing and, you know, burnt and stuff like that. Uh, it's just, it's just uh, it's so sad, man. It's so yeah. sad. But you were telling me that um, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. It's uh, I don't want to say it's like calmed down, but it's definitely not. Not like, like it's, it's still happening, but it's not, um, I guess, as crazy. Mm -hmm. um, people, a lot of people have lost their homes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, that's if you, crazy. If you want to learn more about it, you can always go on YouTube or just Google Australia Fires. 
Like I have so much to say, but to be honest, it's just a, a very lengthy. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. But a um, couple, couple days ago, now changing the subject. A couple days ago, I came up with the topic because it's something that kind of happens to me like at least five times a year, and I think I was with you, and I told you the topic, and I wanted you to be on it with me. Yeah. Um, and the topic is, and I think everybody can relate. Um, have you ever been in a situation? Where it's like a group of you, you know, maybe it's close friends. Maybe it's friends that are, you know, acquaintance. Acquaint. Acquaint. Can you help me with that word, Sebastian? Acquaintance. Acquaint. Acquaintance. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's an acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, you guys are eating. Everybody ordered their food. Everybody did this, did that. And you're at the restaurant. And then you guys get the bill, you know. And I've been in situations where people literally... Pick and pick and choose exactly what they got. And that's exactly how much they're paying. And I totally get it. But I wanted it. I wanted this topic because there's so much. There's like it like branches off into scenarios. Oh, right. It does, it does. So basically the topic of the day is. How can I word it? It's basically how you should. In my mind, you don't have to agree with me. How you should pay with kind of like good manners like how can i say it? like like what would you do let's let's start there what would you do if you know you were having dinner with a bunch of friends and the bill came would you pick and choose what you need like what you ate and no pay it or would you just like split the 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 whole check and yes okay so i'm gonna tell you right now so the the topic is i want them to understand the topic the topic is how you should split a bill in between friends. Okay. The correct way. Right. Right. And I'm going to just give you one scenario, right? One scenario. And let's just focus on that scenario. But then we can create other scenarios and see maybe that can work or mm -hmm. this works. That doesn't work. Okay. So if I invite you to dinner. Right. Me, Karen, you, Chloe. I don't know. Um, we'll invite maybe another couple, right? And the bill comes and we all planned, planned it out, you know, like say that day and we finally get the bill. I don't give a fuck what you ordered and I don't give a fuck what Chloe ordered nor Karen. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you ordered, right? Got you, got you. But you I'm said it kind of rude, didn't you? I'm, 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 split, I'm splitting the bill half, half, half. Are you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. But there's some people, there's some people out there that will say, that will say, I didn't get a Coke. My cheeseburger was less expensive than your steak. Um, I only got a water or I wasn't eating or this and that. So oh, go for it. I really want to interrupt. Okay, go for it. I feel like going out and like, couples compared to going out as a single person makes a big difference i would still split the check if you if it was you and chloe right and you invited me right and i was by myself so you're gonna pay first of all chloe shouldn't pay true i'd, um, I'd be paying for her technically yeah so i'm just talking to you right right and, and say i got a big like i got an appetizer and you got a big steak right you know, like say yours was thirty see, bucks I and my appetizer was ten. I wouldn't let I, I wouldn't let that happen. Like if I ate more than you, I would automatically pay more than you. Technically, yes, but like in my eyes, I would just say split it. Like who cares? We're just here to kick it. Anyways, I mean, uh, maybe I'm. I hang around with people that I've known since high school, and then yeah. you know, it's been like that. Like if anything, if anything, I'm fighting to pay for the whole check. <laughs> And this podcast, this conversation is I want to let you know who you should be eating dinner with, <laughs> who you should be eating lunch with, right. right? Breakfast, whatever. Yeah. To be like, you know, a man, 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 man. Uh. Like if I invite you to dinner, I'm not expecting you to pay. I invited you. I'm paying for you. I got you. It, you know, it, an invitation that, should, should yeah. be like that. But that's another conversation. That's another conversation. Yeah. Yeah. If it's me, my boy, and my other boy, and we go to dinner, we're fighting for the check, bro. And let that let that 
sink into your guys' head is that you should be hanging around with people like that. Yeah. And now I understand, you know, I don't have the funds to pay for everybody. I, I totally get that. You know, I'm not saying always pay. I'm not saying that. That'd be silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm giving you like the best, you know, choice. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but I've been in situations and it's like, it's embarrassing. They're literally doing mathematics <laughs> in the, um, <laughs> In back of the receipt, bro. Uh, and like giving you exact change. It's embarrassing. It's like, do I have coins? It's like, oh, I didn't get that or I didn't get that. Like in my eyes, I'm just like, bro, everybody should just split it and that's it. Yeah. Now, if me and you or say um, me and my friend were eating, right? And you came like way later and got a Coke or an appetizer. First of all, I wouldn't want you to pay anything. Second of all, if you did, just I, I would just be like, you know what, bro, just give me like 10 bucks. Or you know what I would say? Put the tip in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah? Now, that's that scenario. <clears throat> but if it's a scenario that we're all together, for example, I just went to Javier's um, the other night. Um, if you guys don't know where Javier's is, it's an amazing restaurant in Century City that went in Orange County. I thought it was somebody's house. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one in um, Orange County I think that one in Vegas And um, what I know I think there might be one in Mexico Like in Cabo or something I might be wrong But we all went out right It was like uh, five couples Something like that But like I'm only talking to the guys Because the guys are going to pay right And I'm not saying like got, Girls should never pay I'm not saying that I'm just saying like Most of the time You know the guys You know Sort it out What's well, a couple things So Yeah the guys, yeah, the guys just kind of take care of it yeah, yeah. You know whatever Girl should have a good time. The guys pay for it. When the check comes, nobody even looks. And I'm not saying this to flex. I'm not saying this to say this is how I got it. No, it's been like this. No one looks at the check. You put your card down. That's it. Ah, uh, yeah, 100. percent That's right? the easiest way to do it. But I'm letting you know that in a lot of cases, it's not like that. Oh well, yeah, just I guess it, again, it depends on who you hang out with. Yeah, I know. I know the people you're 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 referring to as the people that like pick and choose what they fucking like, what they ate, yeah, what they drank, yeah. That, that's okay if you're like that. Okay, you're like that. But to be honest, it's not somebody fun to hang around with. Exactly. So, personally, the moral. Okay, that's my opinion. Uh, if you don't, agree, no, no, no. Okay. Exactly, and that this is why we do podcasts. <laughs> you don't have to agree. No. But you come with. It's like a, a perfect point that you just pointed out. What? That's with friends, though. Like, if there's somebody there that I don't, that I don't know, then I, I don't know how I would feel about that. I guess I have to be in the situation. Like, if I had the per conversation with a First person. First of all, how embarrassing that you're, you're even going to start doing mathematics in the back of the receipt yeah. in front of everybody. Or yeah. saying things like, <clears throat> oh, I, I, you know, here's 20 bucks because I only ate a cheeseburger or something. Right. But see, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Like, I wouldn't really care, like, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, I think what I really want to, like... Don't know. <laughs> what I really want to like talk to people about because I know the people that are watching are probably like they've probably been through it. I'm, I'm, I'm like a thousand percent. Um, and I've been through it too. Um, but there's a lot of people that they don't pay like that. If you if you're gonna be that guy, don't even go out. Don't even go out to go eat, dude. The other day, I went to um a restaurant, and this guy walked in. With his girl, and he looks at the restaurant, right? He goes like this, and he, then he looks at his girl, and he goes, "I don't want to spend that much money tonight." And he walks away. No, he didn't, bro. Imagine doing that to Chloe. <laughs> She'd laugh at me. I couldn't believe he said that. He said it in front of like the valet. He said it in front of like the hostess. If, like if he didn't want to eat there, he shouldn't have just said it and just walked out. Yeah, he would well, be like, who you says know, that? I would have been like, oh, if God. I didn't have like like funds or anything to like eat there or whatever, I wouldn't say that. Nah, I would just I'm be like, like uh, I'm not really into this. You yeah, know? yeah, I want maybe like yeah. over here. It's like I don't like the paint in the like on the wall. No, he's, this, it's throwing me off. I'm out. He straight <laughs> up said, "I'm not trying to spend that much money. Let's what? go." And he grabs his girl by the by the hand, and he walks away. How do you know it was his girl though? How do I know it's his girl? <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. They were holding hands. So? Okay, maybe it's not his. Okay, even if. Okay, if it's not his girl, 
That's worse. What if it's in? Because if it's your girl, you're com- you're like you're more comfortable saying things like that, <clears throat> right? Right? Yeah, I guess. If it's your girl, you're like more comfortable saying things like that. I I, I guess I guess you're if right. it's not your girl, you're trying to impress her. Uh, could have been his best friend. Best friends don't hold hands like that. Only the ones that are in friend zone. Bro, regardless if it's your best friend, your girlfriend, your your guy friend, you don't say that. That's embarrassing. Mm, yeah, you're right. It is. It's just something you keep to yourself. You don't really. Are you going to hang around with people that do that and split the bill like that? No, it's annoying. Right? Yeah, it's annoying. Like, that's kind of like. I'll take a, it into consideration before calling them. It's kind of like, a, yeah, I'm not doing this again. Yeah. But, you know? Nah, yeah, hundred percent. Like if I if I if I do go out, we'll go out to like a fast food restaurant where I pay my bill, they pay theirs, and that's it. Yeah, that's way different. Yeah, but I'm saying when you're like, hey, can I get the, can I get the check? Like it's just, it's honestly, I just want to let you guys know it's good manners. It's good manners to split the check. However, no matter what, you don't nitpick at things that you want. Yeah, bro. I swear when I I was with a group of people, bro, and. They were literally doing math in back of the receipt. No. I swear. This is with the couples? Huh? This is with the couples? No, it was just like a bunch of random people. Oh. It was like uh, I went to like a car meet. Oh. And um, it was like a bunch of people. And Maybe, I, and, maybe and, that's why, because it was random people. And I kind of get it. Like, um, they don't care about what other people think of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But- so, I know. But in that situation... If if you, if you don't care about, about what they think of you, and if you know that your shit is like 20 bucks, just be like, hey, my shit was 20, here's 30. Mm. Because that'll cover the tip, and then that'll cover like anything else. Right, right. It's, I'm not saying this whole conversation is not about you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. No te estoy, re, no te estoy regañando. What I'm trying to... It's talking to you, not me. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's just good manners. Mm. I talk about this every single time someone's on my podcast and I bring up my chairs. Yeah. Oh, you just got these. Dude. No, 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 oh. no. These Is- are the ones that we're not using. Oh, guys, these chairs right here. I'm going to put it on camera too. These chairs suck. These chairs are not the vibe. So this table is going to be such a vibe when I get my new chairs. Sorry, is this... Oh, you just bought this I table. just got this table. Oh, okay. On episode one, this table didn't exist yet. You know when the, you know when the chairs come? Uh, when? Mañana. Mañana. ¿Por qué no me invitaste mañana? Because I needed you now. Also, guess what? What? Guess what? What? This was like my goal before I even did episode one. We are getting merch, baby. You getting merch? Yep. Say word. Today is Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. Hopefully I can get merch and I think I'm going to do a pre-order, ladies and gentlemen. We might do a pre-order pre Why can't I talk today? Is it because it's late at night? Maybe. Oh, I'm so maybe it's maybe it's a coffee. I'm annoyed with myself. Maybe it's a coffee because you know how coffee revs you up. So maybe you're thinking faster than you can actually talk. Think wow, about that it's all psychological. It's in the mind. Is that what you want to talk about? Psychology? Are you a psychology major? I don't know. You tell me. Calmate, boludo. Oh, calmate. So <laughs> I'm getting merch, and this is for everybody watching. This is for you. This is for y'all. Mira, mira, mira. You better give me. Are the you first. interrupting my merch? Because yeah, I, w- I want to. I want sentence? the first shirt, bro. Yeah, you were the first one on my podcast. Oh, of course, okay. I got you. Okay, gracias. Okay, I continue, got you. Continue. Like I said, today's Tuesday, January seventh, two thousand twenty. This Friday, and I'm telling you guys right now, this Friday, I'm seventy five percent sure I will have all my graphics and everything finalized, and we're gonna do a pre order. Let me know down below. Oh, you want to make it in, in like intense? Bow, bow, bow. This Friday, we might do a pre-order. I'm 75% sure. Are we ready? Bow. 
Dude, that reminds me of uh, Kill Bill. It is Kill Bill. Is it? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, okay. So, everybody wondering about that sound. It's Kill Bill. <clears throat> 808 Mafia is like, um, they produce music. And, uh, wait, do they produce music? I might be wrong, but I think they do. They made that beat. It's dope, right? It's dope. Yeah, I love it. Um, have you been to a Bad Bunny c- concert? No. They, there's a lot of that. Well, I just at Coachella that one time. Yeah, well, maybe you heard it, but his DJ always plays it. Really? So ever since I just love that sound. Why you in? Yeah. Why you in? Bad Bunny, baby. One of his first concerts. Uh, this is his merch from like season one. Oh, really? No, I just made that up. I was going to say flex. I mean, it's a little flex. But I might do, I'm like 75% sure, guys, that I can do a pre-order this Friday. And I just want to let you guys know that it's going to be La Platica merch. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do like a little bit of I Love Saturday merch too. Oh, yes. Because I know a lot of people are going to like that. I know a lot of people are going to like that. So I'm putting the work in right now. Um, I said this on my Insta stories recently. Um it's hard to find merch because I'm so picky. Mm. I'm not trying to buy like some cheap shit and just stamp something on. Um, but if I get something expensive, then you kind of have to sell it at an expensive price. Yeah. And guys, I don't want that. But I think I finally found like some garments mm. that are good quality, <laughs> priced at a really decent price. Um, and then obviously, guys, you have to pay for shipping. You have to pay for um, like baggage, baggages. Um, I'm not sorry, not baggages, like package packaging, um, the graphic. You have to pay graphic. Uh, mm-hmm. You have to pay the, for the graphic designer. What about the import? No, no import. No import Everything's fees? over here. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good, man. I'm yeah. proud of you. Yeah, man. a lot of people don't do that. They, they no, from because China and then it cuts jobs here and the economy. Yeah, and you know, everybody has, I'm not trying to get into like, you know, you should do this or you should do that. No, but it, I just like fine. having everything here because good, yeah. I want everything made in America. Yeah, that's good. And it's easier for me. Yeah. You know, and if, and obviously it's a little bit more expensive, but. But you're, you're creating jobs here too. Still, creating jobs so. here. And not only that, but I get to. Like I, I, I can have access to the people working right. a lot better. It's you know lot, what I mean? Yeah, a lot like it's not like I gotta like call China or this and that. I don't gotta do that. No, that's good, man. Yeah, so I, I got, can't wait to see what it looks like. Like I, I love the logo that you you come up with. Yeah, thank yeah, um, dude, it looks dope. I have a graphic designer. Shout out to Alex. Um, <clears throat> I've known him for a while, and he's he's amazing, bro. Dude, so is I, it- I kind of have like a, like an image. Yeah, is, he is it me or not? Nah? Like the logo, like the the logo, it makes me want to like just eat it because it looks like cotton candy. Mm. It reminds me of cotton candy, especially the color. Yeah, especially the color. Yeah, the the, the texture, the the because it isn't it like uh, melty kind of. Yeah, it seems yeah, like it. It, it seems, seems kind of like, like melty is. and streaky. Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually created like a little motion animation for it too. You so did sh- you did show me that. It looks dope. I did show it to you. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. So shout out to Alex. You're amazing, bro. I'm so glad that he's in my life because Alex, love your work, bro. I I, I uh, come up with things in my head and then he, he makes it happen. He makes it happen. Shit, that's sick. Yeah. So guys, merch coming soon. I'm so happy and I'm so glad that I'm doing it because I know it's what you guys been wanting for a while. Mm. Um, Just shit. Just new year, new me. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a new year, too, man. Fuck, Fuck, dude, fuck yeah. man crazy i remember when we were talking last january what's your new year's resolution besides <clears throat> working out getting fit eating better mm. drinking less <sighs> getting a little bit taller maybe says my mom <laughs> nah dude my new year's resolution is to um just be more organized with my life that's number one yeah dude honestly you say that and i'm just like same yeah. And people, see that, people Jeez. probably see your life. Oh, I just wow. threw shade. <laughs> you asshole! I heard you. <laughs> that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. But thanks. <laughs> there you go. Oh, whatever. Um, you know, people, people, um, they probably see you. They probably see me, or you know, people just see other people and they probably think, you know, 
their shit is so organized. It's not. Or it's, uh, and I'm not saying it's a disaster either. But dude, there's so many things in my life that I feel like I can just be like, oh, fuck, I need help in this. Right. Like I need to like be more. How can I say it? Like. Organizado. Pues sí, pero it's like we don't have a boss telling us what to do. Didn't we talk about this last last did one? We? Yeah, procrastination. Didn't we oh, talk yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. So definitely got to quit procrastinating. I I would love to read more because I don't read a lot. I'm more more of a physical uh, visual learner. Uh, visual, I don't mean reading books. Visual is like I see something, I can do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I can't just sit down and like read a book when I know that that is really good for you. Yeah. And probably listen to more like uh, informative uh, broadcast uh, broadcast podcasts. Um, yeah, I don't know. I want to learn more about technology. I want to f- I want to build a computer. Oh, dude, I really want to build a computer. Yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah. I don't know how to build a computer, but I really want to. I, I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, the other humans do it. Why can't you? Well, it's, everything is on YouTube. You know what I mean? I just, the thing is, I got to find the time. But right now, I still got to organize myself. It's been a new year. Uh, it started off really rough because of this whole yeah. Australia thing. So, Chloe and I are still getting back on our, on our, you know, into our groove. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when that happens, then I'll have a routine and, and go from there. Yeah, 100%. Um, with me, it's the same thing being more organized right now. I have a lot on my plate. You already know me and Karen, you guys know me and Karen. Um, we create content together. Busy, busy, busy. Karen is super busy. Dude, she filmed two videos today. She filmed two videos today. Round of applause. Um, you know, I still edit her videos. Yeah. Um, I have a podcast now. I'm doing merch now for that, so that has to. I have to keep the ball rolling on that. Good man. I have to be consistent on both. I also um, have a clothing brand, like a luxury clothing brand, at Civ with my partner Kevin. That's another fucking animal. Yeah. Um, and I can't. And I and you you have to keep the ball rolling on all of that shit because once you don't, it's like you start back to square one, bro. Yeah. It's amazing how consistent you can be at something and you can see so much progression from it. Like when I first started with um, when me and Kevin first started with Civ, um, you know, we gave it to people and we were on top of it and we still are. But I'm just giving you an example of the first couple of weeks, bro. Like everybody was talking about Civ, you know, in my head, everybody was talking about Civ. Yeah, 100%. Um, I, f- I feel like Civ's, too, yeah. Civ's platform was like growing so <laughs> much and yeah. it still is. Um, but it's just an example of anything you do that you just full full throttle on it. Yeah. It's just amazing how you can see it just grow. So Civ is our baby. Um, now that I'm going to be doing this merch, um, I got to keep the ball rolling on that. I'm just not going to do like one or two, three items and then quit. Like it's always going to be refreshed and refreshed and refreshed um, with new graphics, new new everything. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to start doing. I haven't told anybody and I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you know that I used to do hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to have another guest on this podcast and I'm going to say it already. His name's Lecce. He's the last person that I worked with, right? He works in downtown LA. Amazing person, bro. Like I'm telling you right now, I love you. I love him. Like I tell, I, I tell you, I tell you and I tell other people how amazing you are. He is also an amazing person. That's why I always greet him with uh, open open arms and come over and let's do this. It's good to have friends like that, bro. A hundred percent, bro. He's yeah. literally like, I feel like he's like a cousin slash older brother. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I've been having the niche to cut hair again. And I'm not going to do really? it. I'm not going to do it as like, this is what's going to, okay. you know, I'm not going to do it as a job or anything like that. But I was thinking, guys, let me know if this is a good idea because I think it's an amazing idea. <clears throat> once a month hopefully and this is what i'm saying hopefully i can do this once a month maybe a saturday maybe a fr- uh, sunday for like six hours do men's haircuts right <laughs> charge 80 to 100 dollars. and i know hold on I, before you say that it's so expensive let me just tell you that when i was at the salon 
I was charging eighty to a hundred dollars. Yes, that's expensive. I I wouldn't know because I I don't cut my hair. At all. At yes, all. I, like yeah, you know this. But there's people who charge more. But eighty dollars to a hundred dollars is an expensive haircut. And that's like a fade fade. That's like a fade cut style shampooed everything. Like the whole works. The whole thing? The whole works. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm the shit at cutting hair. Like your shit? Like I am the shit. All this shit. And I think I'm and I feel like I'm really good at it because I've been I've practiced and I've practiced. I'm getting off topic. Anyways. Yeah. So I want to do that, right? But the money is not for me. I'm gonna collect that money. Every month, who knows? Maybe twice a month. But like I said, I don't know yet because I'm. It's still. I'm still working mm-hmm. on seeing what I really want to do with it. Right. Um. So I'm gonna cut hair, and all that money I want to do like backpacks, and stuff it with like things that the homeless need around downtown LA. Damn, bro, that's really nice of you. It. It just. I just want to do something that can that can that can help people. Right. And maybe that's not going to be it, but that's my first, that's my first um, idea mm. is me and Leche with that money. Say I do six people. Say I do five. That's 500 bucks. That can get me a couple backpacks, stuff them with clothes, blankets, um, um, gift cards to like Subway, gift yeah. cards to like Jack in a Box. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't really <laughs> thought that. Like I said, this is just all ideas. It's it, gonna it make could it help one person, a month. even if it helps yeah, one person, bro. Specifically, because like five hundred bucks is technically like a hotel stay for like maybe a week, yeah. or even like that's a what couple, I'm saying. So I, I I need to like really think it through, and I don't know what I want to call it. I don't know anything like that yet. Mm. Like I said, once I have Leche on here, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a better idea. Well, this is called La Platica. That could be called La Ayuda. La Ayuda. That's pretty good. La ayuda. Yeah, you call everything la something. La, la something. Yeah. So I really want to do that, bro. Um, so coming back to why I even talked about this, because I'm trying to, my New Year's resolution is making all these things that I'm juggling easy for me. I want to create a rhythm where I can do all these things. And right now I'm doing it. But I know I can be more efficient doing all of them at the same right. time. Yeah. So that's my New Year's resolution. Oh, and I guess nice. that's just being on it like a motherfucker. Well, if if you um if you and Leche go on and do that, um, I'd be more than happy to help. Thank like, you, bro. Like seriously. Yeah. Be help, I, I'd be happy to go out and maybe like get the backpacks or get the clothes and anything, bro. Anything. Or anything. Even, or even like, you know. And that's another thing too, like the money that I make from doing those haircuts and it going to like a charity or like a, like, you know, like what do you call that? I feel like. Because it's not like, really a charity, right? It's just. <clears throat> don't get me wrong when I, when I say this, like donating, donating to charities, it, it is a good thing. Um, but like if you can do it yourself and if mm-hmm. it's not too much of a hassle, mm-hmm. do it yourself. Like, yeah, you and that's know, what make, I want to do. Yeah. Get the money. Don't give the money to charity and just. Go out and do it yourself. Mm-hmm. If you have the time. If not, then obviously just give it to the charity. But still. You know what? If you want to do it, you're going to have the time to do it. Yeah, true. If true. you really want to do it. You know. So, so yeah, bro. That's what I want to do. That's and, great, and like man. I said, it's not just going to be the money that I'm going to make for it. Um, it's going to be, I can, I'm can. i going to put a website maybe. And people can donate a dollar, two dollars. Anything yeah. helps, man. Yeah. I'm not asking. I'm not going to ask nobody for money. But I'm going to have the option there that if you did want to help us, mm. you know, feed the homeless. And who knows? Maybe it can be feeding the homeless. Maybe it can be uh, giving to the women's shelter. I lived in downtown L.A. for for over two years and I saw a lot of shit, man. And, and there's a lot of people that need help, bro. Yeah, dude. I've, I haven't really seen much. I've only seen what's in my area. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't really know. Like, I've seen videos, but that's it. Yeah. I it's gotta take sad, you because um, for everybody who doesn't know, in downtown LA, there's an area called Skid Row. I've heard of it. Yeah, I've seen and, and shit. it's it's really sad, bro. It's really really sad, and they can't. I mean, it's it's still there, so obviously they can't do too much about it. Oh, maybe you can but give it's haircuts just, to the homeless too. Shit, like whoever whoever, because mm-hmm. like some of them are like 
just people that are unfortunate. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe they yeah you, yeah fuck. There's so many so many ideas exactly, so. and that's why I wanted to let them know like this is just my first initial idea. That's good, but it's cool because I can invite people that 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 that, that have been fucking with me and Karen for a long time. We can hit it up. We can chat. We can get together. You know, we can be at the loft, and yeah. he cuts hair at a super cool spot. Hopefully, one day you get to visit. Yeah. Um, and you know, it, it, it's it's a chance for me to get my haircut fixed, me helping people out, and me meeting everybody else that watches the podcast um, and supports me and Karen. So I think that's amazing. Sick. I mean, what what? There's what nothing more, better yeah, than that. No, what more do you want? Yeah. yeah so that's sick, dude. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking uh, forward to that. Then. Very excited for that. But I think that is all the time we have. Yeah, we or we really tonight. got off tra- like off a topic, eh? Yeah, we I was did. Say traffic topic. The main topic was how you should be splitting bills. Yes, evenly, evenly, and good. that's it. And the moral of you know the the, the reason why we're talking about this is because I want to let people know what I think is the best way to do it because yeah. it. it it speaks volume. Yeah. It does. It does. Like if, if like for example, I don't have the money, I'd, I'd be like, hey, say, well, listen, I, I'd go out, but I don't have the money. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, you, you, I know exactly what you would say. Don't worry about it. Exactly. Come through. Come and through. real quick, before I end this. That's what your friends would do. There's times where it's me and you, say me and you, just yeah. an example, and we want to go to a super, super bougie spot, right? Yeah. And I want to invite my other friends too, but I know that they can't afford it, maybe, right? Mm. Or maybe they could afford it, but maybe they, at that time, they maybe can't. Then I'll be like, dude, just come. Like, yo te invito. Like, like, like come through, bro. Yeah. You know? Like, I just want you there. That's a different story. Different story. True. But we're just talking about that one scenario where everybody's, like, nitpicking. Yeah. Guys, that is wrong. It's, it, it's not good manners. It's not good manners. It's it's annoying. It makes it kind of, like, annoying and frustrating for everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, this is my opinion. That's his opinion. Yeah. You guys can have a different opinion. L- 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 let me know down below. Yeah. If... Whose opinion? Like, what do you guys think? Yeah, what would you do? What would you do if... What, what would you say? If if everyone's like, Yo no compré eso. Yo no más me tomé una coca. Bueno, andate la casa, chabón. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, guys, that is all the time we have today on La Plática. I can't wait for the next podcast. Dude, Who I knows, yeah, dude? I can't wait to watch the next podcast. So, I'm going to get this up tomorrow. I'm going to work on it tonight, and I'm going to get it up tomorrow morning. Please machine this guy i'm a machine bro damn i'm a a, a killer bro damn bro who's ready for the weekend huh it's tuesday (laughs) (laughs) you crazy um oh my god la platica i swear to god we always get off topic yo that was like completely like everywhere That's what we do here in La Plática, man. There's no rules. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no topics. There's no rules. We just talk. Es la Plática. ¿Por qué no la llamaste la tópica? <laughs> is that, is, that is a word. Yeah, of course. Guys, I'll see you guys on the next Plática. Nos vemos once again. If you're just subscribing to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, like this video, follow me on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Thank you guys so much. Merch coming soon. Los amo. Adios. Nos vemos en la próxima plática. Thank you for having me. Yeah, bro.